hello everyone welcome back today I'm going to talk about a steel uh, structure and this is the model that I'm going to use in this video so uh, suppose that you want to cut these two columns to make uh, space here more available so uh, you can use a transfer beam or a truss structure in order to uh, take all the loads from these two columns and transfer to these two uh, columns so uh, before we start please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button and if you like this video please put the thumb up as well okay so I'm going to show you a full uh, a model so we have a warehouse uh, like this and I'm going to hide back and uh, I will cut these uh, columns here so uh, I'm going to use the snap uh, tool here so uh, I will use this option and uh, I'm going to use 6 uh, a meter and we can select this and use the a break in define points uh, tool and I'm going to click on this point and this point and hit the escape key and uh, now we got uh, four uh, members so I'm going to delete the bottom uh, members and next I'm going to remove this so uh, first I'm going to select all the members and use the disconnect uh, link nodes uh, uh, tool in order to separate the the, uh, the node uh, which created by the intersection of uh, the members okay so uh, I will delete this uh, struct uh, tube and I'm going to uh, draw a beam so uh, we go to st structure and members and I'm going to use this section and like this now uh, we have one uh, member and for this video I'm going to use a 3D truss uh, structure in order to take the loads from uh, these two columns. Okay so first I'm going to uh, draw a 2D truss structure so I will use uh, a multi copy tool here and I will copy it uh, 1.5 meter up so we have this uh, structure uh, next I'm going to move this truss uh, to the left side so uh, this is the uh, X direction and uh, we are uh, delete this and I'm going to use the snapping tool again and this time we we'll, uh, will we will divide uh, the top and the bottom uh, cord um, I think 12 and okay and next I'm going to draw the uh, post of the truss and we rotate this 90 degree and we can copy it so I'm going to use this first so we can uh, copy it like this or uh, we can use multi copy tool again so uh, we almost complete the 2D truss so next I will uh, draw the 
uh, diagonal bar so this time I will do the uh, multi copy and I will use maybe eleven so we have this uh, 2d trust I'm going to copy this to the left side of uh, this column and this time will be minus one uh, one point five and next uh, I need to connect uh, the two D truss here uh, to this uh, two D truss so we can use the same member and I think I will draw this point first and I'm going to copy this and we need to divide this I'm going to use the uh, break in define points uh, option here and we will use the uh, intersection uh, snapping tool and we select the in intersection point so now we have uh, two separate uh, member next I'm going to copy this uh, member here and here and we can select this uh, members and copy uh, them here so now we have the uh, 3d truss structure but uh, I think I will add another diagonal bar here uh, like this and like this now we can uh, copy this to this one and I think I should add a bit uh, two more diagonal uh, member which uh, connect the 3d thrust to uh, these two columns to make the connection uh, stronger so uh, I'm going to copy this and I'm going to draw a diagonal member like this and I'm going to copy this and paste it here with a uh, uh, for this column okay so uh, we have uh, completed the 3d trust model and uh, next you can run the structural analysis so I'm going to show you the result so uh, this is only uh, a method or the concept uh, that you can use but uh, you have to check more than what I uh, show you here uh, you can uh, I mean you need to run uh, uh, more than what I, I did here for example like a nonlinear analysis you uh, need to take uh, into con the, uh, consideration of the P data but uh, uh, for this video I only show you the concept so uh, I will show you the result of this four uh, column so we can use this uh, combination and refresh and you can see uh, the three columns here past the design but uh, we have one column here fail and uh, next we can check the uh, 2d uh, sorry uh, the 3d truss structure 
you can see that uh, uh, all the members uh, uh, are fine so uh, next what we need to do is we need to uh, do the straightening for this column and I think I will do the same for this one uh, just to make sure it is uh, stronger and uh, okay so what we can do is we can uh, make uh, this column into a 2d truss structure so uh, I'm going to copy this uh, column uh, we will follow the uh, y-axis so uh, minus one and I'm going to change the um, member section here to the same as the, the one uh, we use for the 3d truss and uh, I think I'm going to rotate this 90 degree and we will put the support for this uh, truss structure as well so we will use the uh, pin connection and uh, I'm going to connect these uh, columns uh, together here and uh, we can use the uh, copy tool so I will copy this uh, I think around uh, six and uh, one meter up so uh, we have like this and I'm going to break uh, this column uh, with uh, the uh, by this member so we can use the break in uh, intersection and uh, I will delete this now I will delete this as well and I'm going to uh, draw a diagonal uh, member and we can use the copy tool again and this time will be uh, 5 so now we have a 2D thrust uh, structure and I'm going to copy this and uh, we use the uh, midpoint uh, snapping tool and we copy this to here and next I'm going to uh, copy this uh, thrust members uh, by using the mirror tool and uh, I will disable this uh, first and we can use this uh, point and no so now we have uh, this as a 2d truss as well okay next we can run the uh, structural analysis again okay so uh, I'm going to do the steel design and this time I will select all the members and uh, refresh so uh, uh, you have to check all the member again uh, to see if it is uh, affect uh, affects the the other members or not so uh, you have to be sure so now uh, as you can see we have uh, one member uh, fail here but uh, I think it is okay uh, 1.02 so uh, as you can see you can use this concept in order to do the uh, steel renovation or a structural renovation uh, for something like this okay so uh, this is it for this video 
and uh, remember that this is only a concept or uh, an idea for you to 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 use or apply in your own project but uh, you have to check more than uh, than what I I did here uh, for example the structural analysis the uh, the design you need to uh, check the uh, the strength design following the standard code uh, you have to check the visibility for uh, uh, the member here here and also for the uh, uh, 3d truss structure as well you have to check the lateral deflection and uh, you also need to check the foundation here as well because there are uh, uh, more loads than it was uh, before so uh, you need to check in order to uh, decide whether you need to uh, do the uh, strengthening of the foundation or the concrete column or the base uh, so Again, this is uh, just part of the uh, the the uh, sexual design. So, okay. So, uh, I hope you guys uh, uh, find it useful. And thank you so much uh, for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video.